Alrighty, so this is going to be a quick little video on porting a turbo. Um, it's also going to show a little bit of port matching, like your gasket matching. So this is a rear housing of a HE341, basically a Dodge turbo, um, but kind of common for aftermarket purposes for other people, for those cars. But so see how there's this edge right here of the gasket where it's not quite to the center. Uh, you can see that there's metal underneath. That's the cast housing. Um, what we're going to be looking to do here. Oh, get the light out of the way. Let's see here. What we're going to be looking to do here is open this up to right around here. So what I'm going to do is get a can of spray paint. Just hit it real quick. Um, and then I'm going to work in there and there's some casting lines. You can feel them and just trying to smooth everything out in there to make it flow a little better. And I'll be giving the wastegate, which is internal wastegate, some priority. Alright, so I've gone ahead and cleaned up the rough surfaces and like shaped it to the point of where I would like it. Um, so it is shaped. You can see I painted it a little bit and it still has a little bit of hanging over so I may go back and clean that like little corners up a bit. Um, but this is not the gasket I will be using so I'll double check the other gasket first but like that corner and that corner but the bottom's almost flush and the top's almost flush. And this side hangs over a bit so you can run your finger and catch on it and it hangs over a bit. But this side does not so if I slide the gasket over a little bit, it sits better, so like, it just depends. And I can also grind the gasket back ever so slightly if I need to, but that's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, so next step would be cleaning it up with um, the sandpaper bits, and I'll probably take it down to like uh, at least a 200, maybe go up to like a 5 or 600, but that's if I really want to spend extra time. Alrighty, so I have moved on to trying to open up the wastegate port, um, the internal wastegate. The reason for opening up the wastegate is because force equals pressure times area or mass times area. Um, so if it has the same pressure behind it, which uses exhaust gases, then the greater the area, the quicker it'll open the wastegate. So if we can say the stock wastegate opens up at roughly 23 to 25 pounds, depending on the actuator, if we can drop that down to like 10 or 12, that'd be ideal and be work much better for my application. So after doing like some easy calculations, uh, the, I calculated the wastegate is roughly the whole opening. It's not perfectly circular, which is okay. Um, it is roughly 25% uh, bigger at the moment. Um, so assuming that the um, wastegate follows a linear scale, which it most likely doesn't, um, I don't know, but that it would be opening at 25 normally, and since this is 25% bigger, you go 25% less PSI to open it. So that'd be 18.75, which is headed in the right direction. Um, I believe that it would be a little bit more efficient at opening, so it might open up at like 17, maybe even 16 if I was lucky, um, because I added a little bit more priority to it and I opened up so it would more or less catch some air as it's going by instead of air having to like actually make a hard 90 degree bend to get into the wastegate opening um, inside the actual compressor housing. All right, so I went ahead and finished porting the turbo, so what I want, um, which includes shaping it and smoothing it out some. This is the final product. It's nice and shiny up the beginning and the back obviously suffers because I can't get as far in there. But one of the thousand grit came out pretty nice. Yeah. So I ended up looking at, I ended up looking at the um, actual manifold. And since you can see through that runner, I ended up being able to look through that runner when the turbo is bolted on and lining up just about perfect. Um, so, so that ended up being kind of convenient. Um, I also saw the one gasket was smaller than the other one, so the one I'll be using is bigger. So, so that's the end of this video. It'll be nice.